I've just been uh, painting my house this morning and the postman arrived and uh, he's brought me this which is uh, it's a copy of a uh, Ed Thomas Dulcimer uh, it was made by John Knopf um, <clears throat> and it's called Blessed uh, it's got a lovely little inscription on the, in the, inside it that's from um, Psalm 34 um, but uh, yeah it's a, <clears throat> it's a lovely instrument <clears throat> it's a standard uh, copy of an Ed Thomas three string um, staple frets with um, a diatonic layout um, and what I thought I'd do is to, is to show you this it's fantastic, it's made in poplar um, and it's painted black in the way that uh, Ed used to paint his and John's actually aged it slightly as well I'm not sure if you can really see that but uh, it's been nicely aged, it's beautiful and a nice set of walnut pegs to go with it. So I thought what I'd do is uh, do a quick comparison between this Ed Thomas and a standard McSpadden so you could get an idea of, of uh, the two different instruments. So let's have a look at the sizing first. Okay, um, as you can see a standard McSpadden is is much bigger than the Ed Thomas. Um, it's got a, a little bit more scale length on it, not much, just just a touch more scale length. Uh, but certainly, um, I'll show you the backs here. It's a, a lot more width and just a little more depth as well in the instruments. So I've got them both tuned to the same at the moment. So I'll just play a, a little tune on them both, and you get a a difference in the idea between the sound. So here's a little uh, groundhog. <laughs> As you'd expect, the bigger dulcimer body has got uh, a deeper tone to it, but actually in terms of volume, it's surprising how close they are. Um, you know, this, this is a, it's, it's quite loud and, and quite bright, um, and uh, it really is lovely. So I'm going to be doing a lot more recording with this, um, and hopefully working with Nick who will be playing banjo. Um, he's got an old 1860 uh, fretless gut strong banjo and I think that this instrument is fantastic. It's a really beautiful production model made by John. Um, uh, this and the banjo go really well together. So thanks for watching.